Would you like to make your own thumbnails for your videos and live streams, but not really sure where to start? Are you the type of person that really doesn't have too much graphic design experience and really doesn't want anything too complicated? Well, you are in luck because today we're gonna show you how to make a thumbnail with, of all things, OBS. That's right, I didn't say that wrong. We're gonna do it with OBS and my brother's gonna show you just how simple it is in this very short tutorial, so stay tuned. This is Live Streaming Tech, where you learn how to stream like a pro with technology you should know. Before we do jump into things, I would like to know what is your preferred graphic design software, or do you use no graphic design software whatsoever? If so, I'd like to hear from you down inside the comments. Take it away, Walt. Okay, today I'm gonna to show you how to make easy thumbnails using your Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio. Today's purpose is we're gonna use Streamlabs OBS. Make sure you log in, doesn't matter what you're logged into, whether it be the Twitch, Facebook, or YouTube. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add a new scene. We are gonna title the scene, Thumbnail. Okay, hit done. Now we're starting out with a complete blank canvas. Now, the images that I use, I can get them free online. Uh, they are copyright free images other than the games that I stream or play. Nine times out of 10 though, you'll find a lot of these game companies will actually add these to their websites. They're under sources and you can go there and use them as long as you don't alter the images in any way, shape or form. They are cool with you using it. Think about it as a content creator, whether you're a live streamer or you're a YouTuber, this content is free advertisement for them unless you're trashing on their game, but we're not going to trash on the game. So let's go ahead and let's add a source. We're going to add the background first. I'm using a gradient background. You can find a lot of these on Pixabay. And that is the whole purpose is make sure they are not owned by somebody. We're going to click image, add source. We're going to title this background. So the idea is you want to title these because of the fact that you're going to make multiple thumbnails as you continue streaming or creating content. And if you keep it titled, it's easy to go in and change these around. Kitty cat in the back, meowing. Okay, so as you see, the gradient background does not take up the full image. That's not a problem. We're gonna right click on it. We're gonna go to transform. We're going to stretch to screen. Now remember, if there's any kind of uh, font on there or any other picture, it's gonna skew it. But because it's a gradient background, no one's gonna notice it. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add another image and we're gonna add myself. Okay, now this picture isn't of me because the fact that when I stream, I stream as a character or a gimmick. So this image isn't me, but once again, I found this image on Pixabay. The idea is, is you wanna find a PNG or you want these images to be PNG transparent. Now, if you were gonna do yourself, um, you can actually go on Fiverr, take a bunch of pictures of yourself with your cell phone or have one of your friends and family do it. And we're gonna title this one me, by the way. Add a new source, we're gonna find it and uh, go on Fiverr and literally for five to ten dollars you can get a bunch of images of yourself with no background png transparent images we're going to hit okay hit done now i tend to put myself to the right because the eye looks from left to right that's how we read unless you live in japan then you read right to left but that doesn't matter so we're going to go ahead and we're going to resize it a little bit there we go that looks pretty cool we're going to move on now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add another source and we are going to add the game title now. So we're gonna call it game title. Makes sense, right? Now, if you do uh, IRL streams or just chatting streams, you can probably add pictures of cute little puppies and kittens and whatnot, and uh, use those types of images. You don't necessarily need to use game stuff. Hit browse, Apex Legends, this is what I downloaded. So this is free to use. Once again, we're not altering the image in any way, shape or form. Size it up, position it however you want to position it, whatever looks good to you. Remember, if it looks kind of cool to you or either that, show your friends or family and say, hey, how does this thumbnail look? Don't overthink it. You'll get better as you go along. And some of sometimes I'll do a really good thumbnail and then the next one will look totally Jojo. Okay, now let's go ahead and add the font. We want a reason for them clicking. So they see me, they see Apex Legends, they kind of know what the content's about, but let's, let's add a little bit more clickbait to that bad boy. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add text now. So we're gonna click on text, add source. We're gonna call this thumb title. 
Okay, add new source. Now, just for this uh, purpose, we're gonna change the font. Uh, you can actually download fonts. Once again, be careful with copyrighted fonts. Uh, so for instance, Apex Legends, the company might have their own copyrighted fonts, but as I was reading on Reddit earlier today, there is font that looks similar to it, but we're not gonna go with that today. We are actually going to go with Franklin Gothic Medium. You can use whatever you want. Font style, you either have a choice between regular and italic, um, some of the other fonts you'll find that they they have other things other than regular italic, but that's majority. Uh, font size. You want to crank the font size as high and as big as possible. The reason being is because once you start playing around with the size on it, as far as a layer on OBS, it, it can start looking fuzzy or pixelated if you blow it up too big. If you go too small, it might look weird. So jack it all the way up as far as it'll go. Now it's text. Let's type in what we want it to say. Uh, we'll put watch me win. Watch me win. We'll put question mark. That's even more clickbaity. Okay, because the fact that there's a lot of white and bright colors up there, we're not going to want to go with a white font. So let's change that. We're going to go ahead. We're going to make that red. Now you can customize it. You can make the red darker or lighter. Let's go ahead and let's make it a little bit darker. Let's pull that down a little bit. And there we go. That looks good. Once again, this is a leave the background color alone, leave the background opacity alone. The alignment, you can move around. I prefer left, top, I'm good with that. But what we're looking for is we're looking to check that box that says outline. Now, outline size, this is how thick that the outline is going to be. I tend to stay around nine to 12, but for this demonstration, let's go with 15. Okay, well, it's white. And it tends to not, it, it once again, our gradient backgrounds using a lot of whites and whatnot up there. We're going to change that. But right now we want to look at it right within that window. And it does look like that the back or the outline of the text is almost meshing on that E. So let's drop it down one point. Let's go down to 14. That looks a lot better. Now let's go ahead and change the outline color. And we're going to change it to black. Why not? It's going to make it pop more. There we go. Now we just resize it. Drag and position it, and kitty cat wants attention. What's up, kitty? Okay, now let's click off of it. Let's step back. That doesn't look too bad for as quick as we've done it. Now, like I said, as you do this, it gets a lot easier. Now, we need it to where we can get that image and we can use it on Twitter, upload it on YouTube, upload it to Twitch, so on and so forth. So what we're gonna use is we're gonna use a Windows program that's automatically on Windows. And if it's not, you can download it. It's called Snipping Tool. So let's go ahead and click the Windows icon. Search, Snipping Tool. Now we're gonna click New and we are gonna outline it, but we're gonna stay within the lines because we don't want any of this gray. We don't wanna capture any of the OBS. We just want that thumbnail. So it's okay to crop it a little bit too short. That's basically what you're doing is you're cropping it. Hit New. Outlines everything. Boom. Now we did it. Now we're going to save it. And because the fact that I stream games, I like to title it first with the game title. Apex Legends. And then we'll go and some dude. Obviously, you'd put yourself or whatever the brand is. So that way, when you go to stream that game, because as you make more and more thumbnails, say you have maybe six or 12 of Apex Legend thumbnails, because you're going to want to change these thumbnails up. You're going to want to not fire off the same thumbnail over and over and over again on social media because people are going to start to ignore it. Change it up, you know, change your picture up, change the font up, uh, or maybe put some Apex Legends characters in there with you. Um, just make it, you know, catchy. So we're going to hit save. And that's it. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. If not, my brother has a really cool video over here that uh, shows you how to make free emotes on Twitch. They're very easy to make. Go check it out. Yeah, just click that. Right up there. Let's go ahead, image game, scale image, and then hit.